Hello fellow YouTubers, Trouble835, here's YouTube Gaming Community number 47. You know, a lot of times we make videos on YouTube and we never truly see the effect a video can really have. I mean, this last video quite frankly blew me away because going on YouTube the next day and going around YouTube and seeing people who made videos talking about that video and linking to it, having a lot of people I watch favor that video and people coming to me and subscribing to that video was just humbling. I mean, that's all I can describe as humbling. I, I, I just couldn't believe it, really. I mean, it just because you make your videos and you say, oh, I'll get my usual whatever, you just never expect the video to do what that one did. So, one other thing I want to get to really quickly, uh, a rule I have with my comment section is I have no problem people, actually I encourage people to comment other comments other people made, but the one rule I have, uh, be respectful for the other people that you comment to. And secondly, I will not tolerate anybody bringing any of their grudges into the comment section. So, I'm going to start off reading these three comments from my last video. And the first one is by Scott Lewis Gaming Blog. You do set the rules, but for your own channel. Your subs and friends will tell the tale of the quality you project upon everything based on if they stick with you or don't which is true the next one is the completionist and for him this is a short comment everything you said was well thought out this is one of the reasons why I love my channel because it is different from many of the other channels out there somebody telling me that my channel is unique and one of a kind is one of the best things I could ever ask for we just need to be proud of our own product while respect, respecting the fact that gaming is only a hobby and there is nothing wrong with that. Outside of YouTube, we're all just regular people. Another very well tr true comment. Next up is Shinma Ryu. Just me two cents here. Been around a while, so I have an opinion. I think it comes down to inspiration and participation. Some of the more popular members of the community have passed into the, that area where they inspire more than they participate, which is natural in many communities. Time to ability to interact ratio quickly falls when popular, popularity ask any celebrity. It is the good community members who expect that and cheer on more to make to that level. All three of that were very, very well said comments. Now, let's get to our topic for you guys to comment to for this video. First thing is going to be simply one word, partnership. What I mean is, what does that word mean to you? Because so many people seem to hear that person's channel has a partnership. Their, their way they act automatically changes. So, what does partnership mean to you? Now, the second thing I want you to comment to, since so many people seem to have a comment or a video on this, what can YouTube do to make the partnership better? What changes can they do to make it better? Do you think they need to enforce certain rules on the, the, the partners? Do you think, how, how, who, how should they not include and not include people? In general, in general, what changes do you think should be made to the partnership? Or how YouTube allows people to get partnerships? Either one. What rules do you think they should make to people already partners? And what rules do you think they make for who they allow into the partnership? Okay, so now on to the channels to check out. And the first one I have is Ty the Guy Review. He has 112 subs. He does gameplay, game ending video, pickups, retrospective impressions, and reviews. Next up is Gamer Guy Forever. He has two subs. He only has review videos up. Next up is Yellow Caboose Media. He has 33 subs. He does review and blooper videos. Next up is PS2 Gamer 100. He has three subs and he does gameplay videos. And I'm going to pronounce this wrong, so get ready for it. Cherubic Windigo wanted me to put shout out dog in my lens. She has 3,664 subs. She does vlog, collection, prediction, pickups, review, impressions, and packages. Dog in my lens just has, she has an awesome channel. 
watched it for a long time actually. Next up is L1011 Widebody. He has 158 subs. He, he does music and playthrough videos, gaming related videos. And Nightbirds wanted me to put him on the checkout channel list. So there you go. So the next list I got of things for people to check out stuff comes from none other than Equilibrium Gaming. His first one was he wanted me to put Arcade Game Table's entire NES collection for videos for people to check out. The second one he had was David Hass L3 Hoff, or 3 L Hoff. He has made it to his Q&A series 3 and 4 part video for 700 subscribers, so please be sure to mention that in your next discussion video. He is doing a great job with his channel and should be commended and should and shared. Thanks. I want to just channel you only throw one out right now, so that's the one I will link to. And then next up, this cool new PC gamer guy named Derek, aka Prime DCG, has a great PC gaming type channel and could use some connections and friends. So please refer others to his channel as well. Also, please refer to the awesome gamer named The Mega Man Cave. He is a casual gaming channel about game collections, game reviews, console reviews, let's play, and collectible reviews, and he's done a fantastic job on his vlog game reviews and very knowledgeable. I always love to read people's uh, when people send me things on why I should shout somebody out, because normally they do a much better job describing that person in their channel than I will ever do. So, next up are videos to check out. First video is by Mark Vigier. His game room and study update January 10th. You know how much I love the game rooms. Next up is Sega Atari 25 updated game room tour. Next up is Retro Gamer Daz, Retro Gamer Issue 85, which has Secret Mana on the cover. If you're interested, check that out. Freak Indie has a video up called Light Force ZX Spectrum Game Review, Lazy Game Reviews. So if you've never seen Light Force on the ZX Spectrum, check that out. Next up, Immortal 119's Game Movie and Shoutout of the Month. The YouTuber he shouts out this month is Refresh 1009. Next up is Jumbo Junkie, Encyclopedia of Arcade Video Games. Really cool book. I uh, really ought to check the video off of that really cool book. Now, next up is Review Tech USA. He's leaving, he was leaving YouTube because he got denied partnership video, which he is now taken down. Listen, rule number one when you make any video, never ever make a video when you're mad. You always say or do things that you will regret later on. Now, he's taken this video down. Listen. I have nothing against people who come to YouTube to try to make a living. If you're, what the heck? They'll try to make a living on a hobby they love than something they don't. Totally understand that. But, to me, when you make a video like that saying you're leaving YouTube because you get denied partnership and blame it on YouTube, you're spitting in the face of your subscribers that have stuck with you from the very beginning. You're telling your subscribers, blame YouTube for you leaving. No, I mean, you just pick yourself up and you try again. It may take you a couple months, it may take you a couple years, but if you keep trying at some point, you may get it. First of all, maybe YouTube already has a partner that draws the same audience that you do. Maybe you're only drawing people already on YouTube in the community, and maybe YouTube's looking for someone to draw people in from the outside. I mean, Nobody truly knows what YouTube's looking for when they actually make someone a partner. Next up is Alien Kiddo 92, Genesis Model 2 region mod. Really cool video where he mods his Genesis and he puts in the uh, cards and they show the Mega Drive version of what the game would look like. Next up, Modern Retro Gaming, Gaming Community Interviews X File 2708. You would know him because his old channel used to be Xbox 360 Collections. Really cool interview with a fellow YouTuber. Highly recommend checking that video out. Next up is NJ Dude 143 My Game Room Part 1. What makes this as different from all the other videos is his game room, which is in his garage, is totally bare. So he explains to you real quickly what he's going to be doing to it. 
and he says every couple of weeks he'll be putting up a video uh, to show you how the room's going along. Next up is Steve Benway's Friday Talkie, the Big Three debate in PSP, PS3 hack. I'm not going to talk about the, the whole P the Big Three debate. I want to get to the PS3 hack. If you don't know what the PS3 hack is, check that video out. And the more happier news, Monte Carlo 10 254 this video. Monte Carlo 10 254 is back. Uh, after having hacking problems in the past and everything, he's uh, finally got his channel back, so congratulations to him. Next up, Games Radio One's Arcade, visiting Golfland Arcade with Jason Heine. If you want to see what four Daytona USA machines hooked up together or a lot of cool arcade machines, check that video out. Next up is Odo U272, is Robocop 2 Game Boy title music. You're interested to check that out. Next up, Ekrum Gaming's YouTuber of the Week number two, Maxim RD. You're interested in finding out what you about that, check that out. Next up is a video that I debated on actually shouting out or not, and that is Sinister Moon's YouTube Gaming Community Discussions Partner Rants. Now, unlike all the other videos out there, the difference between this and those is this one's actually ranting on the people who rip on partners. He does make some good points in the video. Could have been a little better, I thought, if he didn't, like, you know, kind of make fun of people, but. He does make some good points. Go into that video with an open mind when you watch it. Next up, and lastly, Jason Morty 7's Pay to Play Online. His video is simply, are you willing to pay to play video games online? So guys, that's all for this show. So, till next one.